very good afternoon so you all be must be wondering in army normally it's a tradition that it's ladies first but why i am here last well that's for a reason because i represent punjab and as it's already said that you know when all the dances i'm sure you all recall that when you were in school and college uh when all the dances had been performed bhangra and giddha came last why because they um, uh, they people often said that you know uh, i think uh, uh, the bhangra and the giddha should come last for a reason because after that there was no other dance which people could recall so i hope to give you an alternative perspective here i stand here ladies and gentlemen today this afternoon a very good afternoon to my fellow panelists and uh, the honored august house that i'm addressing today friends from the media uh, it's i stand here today in three capacities one as because i've been a joint secretary in the ministry of home and i have dealt with international relations there also dealt with pakistan extensively also since i am a, a fellow graduate from the national defense college uh, ndc 57 was my course uh, which i have done from delhi so obviously i got a perspective from the other side as well and now as i stand representing punjab and that too from the tourism ministry as principal secretary it makes it immensely uh, should i say relevant for me to talk on this issue today because i cut across three sectors segments and uh, verticals or horizontals should i say so i only want to say something that uh, from being salami sliced always from china and being bled with a thousand cuts as was normally said as per the topaz theory we have not only recovered but we have covered a huge ground in india so today's war is not a war of the military as was said by one of the uh, panelists but also it is a time when when now we need to wake up and realize that there are alternatives and how to make ourselves more relevant in the dialogue and in the conversation not just with pakistan but with the world as well and i think to make this dialogue more relevant as was most notably stated by mr mani shankar ayer earlier in this uh, panel discussion that trade and commerce tourism and dialogue and conversation should rule the roost so there's something called soft diplomacy as all the diplomats understand and i think this is a part tourism is a very relevant part which we must harness and we must capitalize on so in the changing global scenario how we can discover an opportunity for india is something which we need to see because there are a lot of things like uh, the security and the stability factor we can harness that how to prioritize national security to ensure safety for tourists ensure a robust security measures at popular tourist destinations and critical infrastructure work closely with intelligences to monitor and address potential security threats and tourism is something which can really act as a link between the soft and the hard that's what i feel so there is how to uh, show to the world the diverse tourism offerings that we have in our country and in our state because punjab we say that india begins here if you start from looking from pakistan onwards because that is the root and that is the main gate so how we can leverage how we can harness our tourism potential at the border is something which we all need to study well government of india has come up with a policy of designing and defining smart destinations and we can definitely convert punjab into a very smart tourist destination because it is readily and easily accessible we have a huge amount of robust road rail air connectivity we have uh, tourist offerings we have a lot of potential in terms of be it heritage be it uh, adventure tourism be it whatever tourism so a lot of international collaboration is something which we should be looking for how we should do that is by countering negative perceptions by countering misinformation as was earlier also said in the panel and how this can be done is by drawing a bigger line so it is always said that you know it's easy to cut somebody's line but if you draw a bigger line for yourself that reaps more dividends and personally i have seen that if we try and talk about positivities of india's culture and focusing on punjab because now today we are sitting in chandigarh 
that is a root which we fail to kind of touch upon and i think we must also harness that uh, potential so uh, fostering partnerships with neighboring countries and global organizations to promote regional stability and also trying to you know use digital marketing and branding which is again something now a uh, digital platforms we can leverage for countering negativities and campaigns that emphasize india's unique cultural heritage and diverse landscapes also establishing positive and accurate online presence to counter any negative narratives and of course that would only come through infrastructure development so we need to increase and improve our connectivities our accessibilities and our overall tourism experiences for the uh, tourists we need to upgrade accommodation facilities we need to involve a lot of communities because community involvement has a lot of spin offs and i need and it's needless that i i should not be talking about this i think all of you understand because there are a lot of economic opportunities that this entails so uh, after having said all this i would say that you know use tourism instead of terrorism that's the line i would love to take today in today's uh, seminar in this panel discussion and also uh, you know tell you all that we should use Uh, uh narratives which counter the negativities of our neighboring countries uh for instance they believe in a more inclusive policy whereby they think that you know uh, developing only one particular university or talking only about a few tourist points would be helpful i think we should go for the counter narrative by trying to emphasize on our secular nature and also on our various tourism uh, you know you know our universities our temples our be it our heritage tourism there is another field i would like to talk about and touch on is that medical tourism medical tourism is something we should touch upon because that is the essentially i think somebody spoke of the human nature that touches very quintessentially on the human nature so that is another element we need to talk on sports tourism sports gets us all together so of course we are cricket matches etc exemplify but that's just one part i think we should be promoting more of that so in all those terms if we take a complete and comprehensive view there is a multifaceted approach which we need to develop and we need to think beyond what is the normal what in military parlance we term as war now uh, so there is we keep saying there are many facets of war now there's not just direct aggression but there are many more uh, aspects we need to touch upon so i think soft part is something now we need to be focusing on and also bring it in the narrative bring it in the dialogue bring it in the conversation today when we talk of war because war is not war per se as it used to exist earlier it has changed its connotation we need to be with the change we need to be part of the change and that's what i'm here for as the secretary of tourism of punjab uh, kind of assuring and also eliciting would love to elicit your views later on in the day as to how we can please come up on the stage so that we can start the first session I'm about to start we can